trick. So that's uh, easy enough. Roll some forward. You want to target and then you want to side up here when you get to the top and before you hit the switch. Now for the second side up you have one, one, two, three frames. Hold right and shield to end the side up to max it out. Shield turn left. You want negative 27 on the input. That's gonna give you the top one. I did forget to mention. It's gonna be easy to notice if you're too far or not, because if you get a fourth frame, then you're gonna be down on the ramp pretty far. It's gonna be obvious, and then a fifth, fifth frame is just gonna fall right off. You're gonna side off right off. You're gonna be right on that. Top of the ramp. It's negative 27. Top most that you can see the red dot on the hookshot tower. Negative 27 on the input, I mean. Now, the boulders I'm going to get to later, but basically, you can know whether holding up is going to make it or not based off of visual cues. When you get up to this wall, do not target immediately upon getting to it. You want to wait half a second, otherwise, you might have seen it. If you're not targeting, the title is going to go up towards the Beamos, and if you target, then you will target the Beamos. And I can't replicate it. Okay, it's possible. Take my word for it, please. We're going up to you. Anyways. You're gonna backflip and hold down until you land. So you're gonna either hear this noise that's coming up, or you're gonna see both hands are gonna be below, behind the black bars. That noise, the landing noise. I'm sure you're familiar with it. You're gonna hold down target and hook shot in this frame. You just heard the hook shot clank on this frame. You want know the next frame, the first frame that the hook shot tower target hook shotable part is. Yeah, the red dot is on the hook shotable part. It's like half on, half off. Do that line. And you just need to hold down after releasing hook shot. The second or third frame, I forget which, will give you the shortest top that will still make it. That would be best. There's less air time in that case. And time for the boulders. So optimally, you do this between these two. You get that. And then. You see how it did a little bounce there? If you do it before it does that bounce, before it starts bouncing, you're clear. You have up to like, it's like halfway through its bounce, like there, when it reaches this peak or so, or maybe slightly before that. Anyway, somewhere around there, then you can hold up, you can make it. For the other boulder, it's a little different. You have basically until like there. When it's like starting to roll off, you have a lot more frames. I already lost track of which boulder is which. Okay. These boulders are interesting. Just for the sake of knowledge. Nice. They're on practically the set. Same 10 second timer. Nice. So that one actually, this one that spawns here, goes down much further than the other one. So it's going. It's going, 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 going. Finally broke. That one breaks right there. And so that's how they're both on like a 10 second timer. Or at least nearly. So their cycles should line up nearly every time. Just for uh, visual case cues. Okay, I think I messed the side up 
pops up somehow there. Holding forward so hard. That's why I recommend uh, targeting up early. No way it just cuts that out. Uh, it was too late. Even with input viewer, it's a little tight. So, anyways, obviously, it's still up in the air. There's definitely enough time to make it, but. Okay, you saw that bounce a little before, a couple of frames before this is the last you can go. Otherwise, you're going to have to stop and wait for the next boulder like this. Just make sure to keep holding up. I would probably wait just to make sure. Now, between boulders, you have varying amounts of time for, you know, first cycle or second cycle. First cycle is a lot tighter, and you want to make sure you go when you can still see the boulder. Not when it, like, first lands, but after it starts rolling to the left. It depends on your where exactly you first side hopped, whether you can see it at first or not. But it should be pretty clear whether or not it's rolling and past you or not. The first turn you can see it while it's rolling, you can jump, you can backflip. As far as the second one, it's basically free anytime you want to go. Okay, so that's the easy cycle. So the next one is a tight cycle. I just want to demonstrate that it is possible. At least I think it is. You have between like this frame where you can first see it rolling and until you can't see it anymore. So what that's like two frames. Definitely with pause buffering I guess. Okay, that's the easy cycle. Okay, I just landed. My timing might be completely off, branded. Okay, so like this you can target. You can backflip on this frame. Okay, to the desired frame. Into there. You gotta be wary about if the hook shot like hits the boulder. That's why you have to be wary about when like, to do the things. Wanna do the backflip specifically. Alright, that's all I got. Good luck, have fun. Should be easier than the other one. I hope.